Welcome to our solutions video showing how simple it is to create a remote control with our Bravo module. To show the simplicity of this, we are going to do this with nothing but our breadboard, Bravo and some wires. Okay, so here is our transmitter. We've got the schematic here from the data sheet which can be found on our website. So as you can see, we have got ground wired at pins 2 and 15, there's power wired at pin 16 and then there's also power wired from pin 10 and this is important as it tells the Bravo that it's going to be a transmitter. Now for this demonstration of the video we've just put a simple push switch on there to show the operation with the receiver later on. Right, now for the receiver. Like the transmitter we've got it already wired up so we've got pins 2 and 15 going to ground We've wired power to pins 16 and to pins 18, and we've also wired pin 10 to ground, this time so that the Bravo knows it's a receiver. Now, we've also, for the demonstration, just wired an LED into output 1, though it is worth bearing in mind that the Bravo does have 8 outputs which can be used. And we've got an antenna here. Now, for the video, we don't actually need to use this as it's only going to be transmitting a very short range, but you will need one in your system when you come to make it. Okay. Okay, so we've now applied power to both our transmitter and our receiver, which is just 3 volts in each. So now we're going to pair them together. All you have to do here is simply press the learn switch on your receiver, like so, and then just press the switch on your transmitter, which will pair them together. So as you can see now, we've got the LED turning on and off as we activate the transmitter. Okay, now it is worth bearing in mind that this is a very simplistic implementation of the Bravo modules. They can be used for more advanced situations and can achieve a range of up to 1,000 metres. For more information, check out our data sheet or go to our website to see more products in our smart radio range.